in the last quarter of the 20th century, it was widely believed that most diseases were caused by genetic mutations, so-called faulty genes. In effect, you're missing half of, the, uh, half of the story, at least half, maybe even more than half of the story. Because I think of the genome being comparable to the hardware of a computer, and I think of the epigenome as being comparable to the software that tells the computer when, where, and how to work. And once those programs are set early in development, they are faithfully replicated throughout adulthood. And the absolutely key thing here, giving us a whole new take on nature nurture, is that this programming is shaped by environmental factors, the stresses we're exposed to, and above all, by the food we eat. All mice, indeed all mammals, have an agouti gene that controls the distribution of dark pigment. And it's hard to believe that these mice are identical genetically. They're inbred, so they're genetically, the genotype of all the offspring is identical, but they vary greatly in their appearance. So you have some animals that are completely brown and thin. As they get older, they stay normal weight. And then you have other animals that are completely blonde. They're, and they get obese, have a high incidence of diabetes and high incidence of cancer. So the basic question was, can we change the phenotype in the animal, in this case coat color, by alterations in the epigenome. So they divided mothers to be into two groups. Mothers in the experimental group were put on diets rich in nutrients containing methyl groups, such as chlorine, folic acid and vitamin B12, while those in the control group remained on ordinary mouse food. And then they waited. Jertle and Waterland's study was published in August 2003. It was front page. And was quickly picked up by major newspapers, magazines and TV programmes in the United States. And very soon, it was global. And it's easy to see why. For decades there'd been all this research linking parental diet to their offspring's health. But the explanation had been missing. Until now. <laughs>